Thus, if a hole were bored down through the Earth's crust at London, Paris, New York, Chicago, or Los Angeles, a distance of 300 miles, it would connect the two surfaces. While the inertia and momentum of a weight dropped in from the outside surface would carry it far past the magnetic center, yet, before reaching the inside surface of the Earth, it would gradually diminish in speed after passing the halfway point, finally pause and immediately fall back toward the outside surface, and continue thus to oscillate like the swinging of a pendulum with the power removed until it would finally rest at the magnetic center or at that particular point exactly one half the distance between the outside surface and the inside surface of the earth. The gyration of the earth in its daily act of whirling around in its spiral rotation at a rate greater than 1,000 miles per hour or about 17 miles per second Make, makes of it a vast electro-generating body, a huge machine, a mighty prototype of the puny man-made dynamo, which at best is but a feeble imitation of nature's original. The valley of this inner Atlantic continent bordering the upper waters of the farthest north are in season covered with the most magnificent and luxuriant flowers, not hundreds and thousands, but millions of acres from which the pollen or blossoms are carried far away in almost every direction by the Earth's spiral gyrations and the agitation of the wind resulting therefrom. And it is these blossoms or pollens from the vast floral meadows within that produce the colored snows of the Arctic regions that have so mystified the northern explorers. Beyond question, this new land within is the home, the cradle of the human race, and viewed from the standpoint of the discoveries made by us, most of necessity have a most important bearing on all physical, paleontological, archaeological, philosophical, philological, and mythological theories of antiquity. The same idea of going back to the land of mystery, to the very beginning, to the origin of man, is found in Egyptian traditions of the earlier terrestrial regions of the gods, heroes, and men, from the historical fragments of Monotho, fully verified by the historical records taken from the most recent excavations of Pompeii, as well as the traditions of the Northern American Indians. It is now one hour past midnight, the new year of 1908 is here, and this is the third day thereof, and having at least finished the record of my strange travels and adventures, I wish giving to the world, I am ready and even longing for the peaceful rest which I am sure will follow life's trials and vicissitudes. I am old in years and ripe both with adventures and sorrows, yet rich with the new friends I have cemented to me in my struggles to lead a just and upright life. Like a story that is well nigh told, my life is ebbing away. The present event is strong within me that I shall not live to see the rising of another sun. Thus do I conclude my message. The following is an excerpt from William George Emerson, the author, who writes, It is impossible for me to express my opinion as to the value or reliability of the wonderful statements made by Olaf Jansen. The description here given of the strange lands and people visited by him, location of cities, the names and directions of rivers, and other information herein combined, conform in every way to the rough drawings given into my custody by this ancient Norseman, which drawings together with the manuscripts, it is my intention at some later date to give to the Smithsonian Institute to preserve for the benefit of those interested in the mysteries of the farthest north, the frozen circle of silence. It is certain that there are many things in verdict literature, in Josephus, the Odyssey, the Iliad, Terry and the Locoperiers, early history of Chinese civilization, Flammarion's astronomical myths, Lermans, Beginning of History, Hesiod's Theogony, Sir John D. Mandeville's writings, and Sacy's Records of the Past that, to say the least, are strangely in harmony with the seemingly incredible text found in the yellow manuscript of the old Norseman Olaf Jansen, and now for the first time being given to the world. The truth is stranger than fiction, 